Welcome to the Data Hall YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to focus on the rolling regression in R. In some of our previous video, we have discussed how do we calculate stock returns, whether that is weekly return, monthly return, or uh, daily returns. Uh, we have also discussed about how do we download uh, uh, stock data uh, using the quant mode package. Uh, in this video, we are going to focus on the rolling, rolling regression. So there are different packages that we can use to to estimate rolling uh, to to perform rolling regression and get the the betas of the um, the variables. Uh, in this video, particularly, we are going to use the uh, the CAPM model uh, for this purpose. We are going to calculate uh, systematic risk, but this time the systematic risk would be on the rolling uh, window basis. If you want to perform that uh, on the non-rolling window basis, like you want to calculate the systematic, uh, the the weekly, monthly, or yearly systematic risk, then you would have to watch our previous video. Now, uh, the the package that we are going to use is one of the package is Broom package. So there are multiple packages that have this functionality. Uh, the most uh, used package is the broom package where we use the roll apply function and the second package that I'm going to use this is a more powerful package specifically for this purpose is the slider package where we use the slide period function. So let's uh, load uh, install these libraries you need to install them if you haven't installed them I have already installed them so I'm just going to skip this line of code I'm just going to load these libraries all of these four libraries right and then i'm going to load my data set so i have this data set uh, uh, in my working directory right so you'd have to set this to source working directory set the working directory where the data is and i'm going to load uh, this data so what we have over here we have daily stock prices data we have different stocks for example we have apple we have Microsoft and some other stocks. Uh, we have their stock prices, the S&P 500 index, and then we have uh, the risk-free rate. So first we need to calculate the stock returns. Uh, so we need to calculate daily stock return and the monthly stock return. So this whole process of estimating the rolling regression, I would, I would perform this on two types of data. That is daily stock return and monthly stock return. So therefore, first I would calculate the daily stock return and then I would calculate the monthly stock return. Now this is extensively discussed in my previous videos, but I will walk you through this code. So first we take the data that I have loaded over here, this data frame, uh, group by the stocks, then we mutate, that is create a new column, that is RI, which would be the, uh, the stock returns, the market return, log of current, pri current uh, price divided by the lag price, then uh, calculate the access stock return and the access market return and the date column in R. Let me show you the structure of this data and uh, the data that we have just loaded. You can see that the date column is currently interpreted as uh, the character vector, uh, the character column, the character data set by R. So what we need to do is tell R that this date column is in a date format so in my case it's day month and year so i'm using the dmy function and specify the date column and lastly i'm just going to focus on these columns so i would delete all the other columns for example the ri dmkt the price columns and because i have grouped over here so i'm going to ungroup it uh, if i press Control enter firstly you can see that now uh, uh, okay, so now, uh, if, yeah, so this is daily. So now you can see that uh, as opposed to a date being read as character vector, now it is represented by the date format, the date format uh, that is recognized by our. Uh, secondly, we have calculated our excess stock return and excess market return. Now, we are going to set first set the data and then we are going to perform these uh, these rolling regressions. Next, we are going to calculate the monthly stock return. So we take the data. Now, again, this code is had been extensively discussed in my video where I discussed how to calculate daily, weekly and monthly stock returns. Uh, I'm just going to quickly walk you through so I convert this data. 
uh, into a wide format because I want to convert it into an XTS object and convert it into a monthly data. Uh, lastly, convert it back to uh, long format and calculate these excess uh, market return and excess stock return and only select the variables that I'm interested in. So once you have this data set, so let me show you this data. We have, you can see that all these dates are the last date of each specific month. We have their excess market return and excess stock returns, where in this data daily, we have the daily excess uh, returns. Next, what we need to do is use the role apply function. Now, remember this is coming from the broom package. So install this package and load this package. And first we need to do is the easiest way is like we define a function. Let's call this function regress. So this function uh, contains three lines of code. First, we execute the regression of uh, our access stock return on access market return and we use a data frame uh, that is supplied over here. Then we extract the coefficient from this regression and that this function would return, return that specific coefficient, right? So once we define this function, uh, it would not perform anything, uh, but we'd use this function in our, uh, in our next code. Now, first we are going to do rolling regression using daily data, and then we are going to do rolling regression using monthly data. So we take our daily data. Remember this rule apply can only be applied for a single stock, right? Uh, if you supply it with the whole data frame, then that would be a, a wrong method of working with this rule apply. Um, now, in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how do you apply it to a single stock, but you can use uh, for loops uh, to apply it or some apply family of functions to apply it on, or you can define again a function and use map uh, to apply it on whole data set on other, uh, other symbols, other stocks. So these, uh, the sticker that I'm going to use in this specific case is the Apple stock. Uh, I'm just going to select the uh, access stock return, access market return. Remember, sometimes this role apply would give you uh, incorrect results if you select other data sets like the, the unnecessary columns. So that's why I have limited them uh, to these two columns. Uh, I apply the role apply function where the width that is 60 days because this is daily data. So whatever uh, width I would specify would be in terms of daily. The function would be the regress function that I have defined over here. And this function would, what this function would do is perform regression and give me the coefficient. Uh, I do not want this function to be applied on each column. And if there are missing values, then, uh, then th those would be represented by NA. If I execute this function, it is going to take uh, a few seconds because uh, it is a daily data. Uh, let me show you the values. Now, remember it is a vector, right? So the starting 60 values would be missing values. And then we would have our, our beta on the 60th day. Now what I need to do is because I cannot see any dates. And if I want to merge this data with my other variables, I would need date. So what I am doing is I'm creating a data frame where the dates column would come from the data daily column, data daily uh, data frame that I already had uh, this column. And, uh, and we would get the betas from, uh, from, from the vector that we have created, right? I'm just going to combine these and let me show you. And now we have dates and we have the betas, right? Uh, so we have the first beta for 29th of March, 2011, that is 1.22. And the rest of the 59 observations are missing because it takes those observations to calculate the rolling regression. Now let's perform this function, uh, this rolling regression on monthly data. The only thing you need to do is obviously change the, the data frame. So I'm just going to change the data frame instead of daily data. We would have daily monthly. The rest of the code is exactly the same. Uh, 60 over here would mean 60 months of data. So if I apply this, uh, show you the data, 
you would see that the first 60 of months are empty they are uh, uh, missing observations because uh, we didn't uh, we had we didn't had previous values to calculate the beta for these these time periods again i um, because these are just the betas values we do not know for which month uh, or for which uh, specific time period this beta is so what i am going to do is take the dates a column from this data monthly a data frame and uh, combine it with this uh, betas that we have just created over here if i do that you can see that we have these uh, these betas over here and you can see they, these are monthly dates now this is what i have performed using the role apply function now let's perform the same task using the slider uh, uh, package where we have the slide period function now slide period function is quite uh, now when we are working with role apply remember it would take uh, it would take the 60 uh, 60 calendar days right not 60 trading days so it would not take into account the missing uh, values right the missing dates when there were holidays uh, it would straight away take 60 observations that's why you can see that we we have missing observations for the starting 59 uh, 59 values now with slider uh, you can work with trading uh, trading days right so first we are going to do is we are going to calculate uh, rolling regression on monthly data again we take the monthly data filter it uh, to each like we just take the apple firm stock stock data because again as uh, as with the role apply we can only apply this to a single uh, stock and if you want to apply it to your whole data set to multiple stocks then you'd have to loop through um, each stock in in your data set so what we do over here uh, we create a new column let's call it beta and we are going to use the slide period function where uh, we would pick everything that is everything that is supplied uh, over here uh, by this data frame and uh, we need to specify the index what is our index that is the date column uh, that is the date column that we have in our data frame we need to specify the period and let me show you some of the uh, let me show you the help menu uh, of this function uh, okay so i haven't loaded this package remember when you are performing this you'd have to load this package right so now let me show you the document uh do install this package right before loading it so uh so let me scroll down and show you what what we have in the in the period uh, parameter we can have either we can specify the year quarter month in this case we have monthly data so we are going to perform that on months so we specify this string uh, as month right and the function would be uh, the regression of excess stock return on excess market return and data would be dot that mean any data supplied over here so the f in the first iteration it would have 60 observations uh, like it would take the 60 observation for 60 observation and then it would keep rolling on and we need to extract the uh, the regression coefficient uh, before would specify how many days we want and complete would specify whether we want the also the missing observations or not as we did with the role apply so that so so, so if you if you convert this into false uh, it would just give you the uh, it would remove the missing values right so all these missing observations would be removed but i want to make i want to keep them because i want to be able to compare it with my role apply function uh, so that way i can demonstrate that they perform the exact same uh, task so let me execute this function we get the slider m which contains uh, our uh, our betas using monthly data using the slider package if i can scroll down we have this date 31st of december 2015 and let me show you the value you can see that 0.8232 and let me show you the exact same value that is for exact same date and the value is the exact same right 
so th- that demonstrate that uh, these both functions are uh, how do we perform the rolling regression using these two uh, functions now let's uh, come to the last aspect which is the rolling regression on daily data using the uh, the slide uh, period function so let me get this right so we are going to use the slide period so when when you are working with the slider so i'm going to make a video of uh, on the slider package of its own because the slider package is quite useful and it is quite in depth, uh, depth so i want to make a video on that separately so stay tuned to this channel uh, uh, so, so this video would uh, would come soon so what i do is i use the slider period function as i i did over here specify all the exact same parameters because in the daily data we have the date column that contains the index so that is what i have specified because in this case we have a daily data so in period we would have a string uh would have a string day right and the function is exactly the same and the rest of the observations are exactly the same but when we apply this function uh and we have the the data let's compare it with the rule apply daily right uh, in rule apply daily you can see that we have the beta uh, the first beta would be for 29th of march 20, uh, 2011 but in case of uh, slider we see that we have for the 3rd of march 2011 right so so why is that because by default it it takes the the trading day so 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 the first observation starts with the uh, 3rd of january and between 3rd of january and uh, 3rd of march we have around 59 observations right and uh, so it is taking a calendar uh, dates rather than taking the uh, sorry it is taking the trading days rather than taking calendar days as the rule apply would do so that's why we would have 60 observations as missing values and we have a different uh, beta over here so if you are interested in working with the trading days then uh, then you cannot work with the roll apply function you would have to do slider but slider can also work with uh, with the uh, with the calendar dates right so if if you just use the slide function the slide function do not have this uh, this index right uh, if you, if you can scroll above you would see that there is this slide function uh, i hope it is in this menu but anyways so 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 it doesn't have this so so whether you comment this out or not it doesn't matter but anyway there is no no this uh, like it 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 won't have this this index uh, parameter over here so if i execute it now and uh, it is going to take a second and if i can show you the data now we would have the exact same data as we had with the role ply that is for the 29th of march 2011 we had 1.2209 and we have 1.2209 so i hope this video was useful stay tuned to this channel for more videos related uh, like this and thanks for watching this video